Welcome back. King Charles III's remarks about his eldest grandson, Prince George, have suddenly become the focus of a new viral video after footage from the prince's first day at school resurfaced on social media. Interest in William and Catherine's three children has grown in recent years. With the public keen on their public appearances and personal developments, including their schooling. When George began his education at the age of four in 2017, one of the royal family members to comment on this milestone moment was his grandfather, Charles, who was then known as the Prince of Wales, not yet having ascended to the throne. In footage taken at an official engagement in September, Charles can be seen expressing his sympathy for poor old thing George as he took his first steps towards independence. When a broadcaster asked Charles if he had given his grandson any advice on his first day at school, the king laughingly replied, Of course not. He wouldn't take it from me, I don't think, at that age, he continued. I shall be interested to hear how he got on. At that age, you don't worry much about going to school as you do when you get a bit older. Upon being told that his grandson seemed a bit anxious that morning, he added, Oh, poor old thing. But it's part of growing up being left there to have to get on with it when the parents go away. And that's always the challenge. It's character building. The video clip of Charles's commentary on George's school day has received numerous comments on social media, many of which have praised the king's insight. One commenter wrote, He's surprisingly perceptive. Given his own less-than-ideal school years, he seems to have a thoughtful perspective on the fears associated with starting school. Charles's own school days were reportedly not particularly happy. He famously described his Scottish boarding school, Gordon Stoon, as colditz with kilts and chose not to send his own son to the institution, despite it being where his father, Prince Philip, had been educated. Instead, Prince William and Prince Harry attended Eton College near Windsor Castle. The bond between Charles and George was highlighted in 2023 when the young prince served as one of the pages of honor at his grandfather's coronation joining several other boys his age as they processed through Westminster Abbey for the historic event. The prince also posed for an official photograph at Buckingham Palace alongside his father and grandfather, presenting King Charles with his two direct heirs. Prince George, who is destined to become king one day, bears the full name Prince George Alexander Louis Mountbatten-Windsor, carefully chosen by his parents, the Prince and Princess of Wales, upon his birth. The name George carries significant historical weight. Royal biographer Christopher Warwick noted shortly after the young prince's birth in 2013, While not particularly imaginative, the name holds great significance, as one day the young lad will be crowned King George II, assuming his father, Prince William, ascends the throne, and he opts not to rule under a different name. In a royal context, it's a fitting and meaningful choice, signaling his future role as a monarch. Away from royal context, the name George traces back to the Greek word Georgos, meaning farmer, and is famously associated with St. George, the patron saint of England, known for slaying a dragon according to ancient lore. Thanks for watching.